Well, good evening. There's the first slide. I didn't have quite enough material for this thing, so I put together 20 slides, but there's really only 18 that matter. I come from an era where computers had typewriters and that was state of the art. You know, terabyte drives from Dick Smith, I think that's just fantastic. I think the iPhone is just the pinnacle of technical achievement. It's just sensational. All of those things that are available to us now, you know, that we didn't have before, that I think we might have just gone down the wrong path. If you have a look at some of the latest devices, look at this, augmented reality. That's it, millions of dollars spent to bring us that. Does it look like I need to gain a few extra pounds? Really? Do I really need to find out how much water you can put in coffee and still call it coffee? What a waste. And here's another one. I've got all this technology, billions of dollars worth, to tell me where the nearest railway station is. Well, go and ask someone. It's much nicer. Go and talk to somebody instead of using the stuff. What we need, I think, is a bit of a rethink on how we use some of these things. Now, here's a bit of augmented reality. This is a chemical plant. It's actually a Chinese chemical plant from Sinoc, and it's in Tehran, one of the few chemical plants where being inside is safer than the outside. Uh, and what I've got up there is a few areas highlighted. We've got high failure rates on the wells. And what we can see, looking at that quite quickly, is where the things do actually crap out. Now, it's usually quite difficult to tell in most of these systems what's going on. I've got a list of failures. I've got functional locations. That's where things are. Uh, I've got equipment structures. In other words, what belongs to what else and what's in it. Um, but if I add the engineering data, yes, I can see straight away dodgy welding from one David Haywood. Now, David's out arc welding a fully pressurised gas pipe tonight, so he can't be with us. Um, but it's being recorded, and with a bit of luck, when he comes out of hospital, he'll be able to watch the recording. Right? But, that, but that's the sort of thing that we need. You know, it looks prosaic, but it actually helps people. You're trying to come out with the same number of appendages you went in with. Here's another one, courtesy of our Dimensional Edge in Adelaide. That's an atomic bomb going off with the mutation rate shown across the eastern seaboard. That's just the logo off the front of their brochure. But they, they do actually try and do something useful with location intelligence. But there's some stuff on social services. And they're almost there. They've got a map on it. They've used it to highlight things. I mean, not quite there. We've still got some bar charts down the bottom. But, but we're getting there. You know, we're getting there. We're trying to use it for what it's meant to be used for, to tell you something extra. Right? Now, what about retail? It, retail is a subject near and dear to everybody's wallet, including mine. You know, retailers have huge systems. They've got supply chain systems. They've got merchandising systems. I mean, the vegetables still taste like rubbish for some reason, but they've got all those things in there. Now, there, there's one from a company that sells human vaccines, right? and it just shows where they've sold them, where they've sold a lot of them, where they haven't sold so much. The people in the red area don't get to keep their jobs. The people in the green area, they do for almost another quarter until they get there. Here's one from a freight company. Um, actually quite good. They use this, and, and the next slide you'll see as well. They use it as marketing material but they also use it to monitor their own service delivery rates. And all of that slide says is within about 200 miles of their depot, and they do this by centre, they can get delivery times under one day. But you can do it like that. I mean, try doing that with a report. Um, here's another one. That's just about service delivery quality out of good old Texas up into the, uh, the northeast of the US. But there are uses. These things, by the way, are from Visual Crossing um, that actually use this sort of stuff over the top of business intelligence systems to give you some, uh, some visualisation. Uh, here's an example again from the retail world. I'm opening a new store. Where are all the staff? How do I actually open the store and staff it with the minimum dislocation? You know, do I have to hire a whole new bunch of people and fire them? No. Uh, here's one, um, courtesy of Dave Haywood, who unfortunately isn't with us tonight. These are all the escort agencies at night in Adelaide. <laughs> by postcode. Now, as I pointed out, you can actually find this in any well-thumbed phone book in any motel room. I mean, so I'm told. But now, that's what I'm talking about. Extra information. Where can you buy drugs in an area you don't... Where can you get them, right? Now, that's location intelligence. Adding facility. Adding facility to the maps uh, that you see every day. I think Google Maps are fantastic. That's a great example. But maps are flat, right? We're all used to being, being you know, the world is flat. Well, it's not really. And even just adding a couple of layers like that, um, you know, and some oil drilling pipes as these are, but it gives you a lot more information just adding that little, little extra piece. And, and here's a great example. This is actually a contour map and some laser survey data. Now, 
just think if that was biodiversity data draped over uh, the contours you had. I mean, I can't see any mining company using it. It'd just tell you too much. <laughs> but look, that, that's a great example. That's just a great example. But the triumph of geekdom over common sense, I think, is something we've all got to guard against. Go and talk to people. Don't stop thinking for yourself. You know, just, just go out there and do things in the way that they were meant to be done. Now, that's it for me. Um, I'm going to be over at the bar, and if someone's got a personal garment to guide me there, that'd be just great. Thank you very much. <laughs>